out. Hey guys, Spray and Pray here, and welcome back to Victoria 2. Today we are going to bring the hurt down on the Free Arabian Sultanate. They are too cool for they have been too cool for too long, and they deserve to die. Uh, we're going to ex take over. I, I hope that we can get a swath from here to Suez. However. That may be just too much war score. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but we're definitely gonna like rape them as much as as hard as we can. Uh, I'm gonna put our tariffs up to thirty percent because it looks like we're maybe suffering a little bit from having all these guys um, mobilized. But our tariffs can be go can go up a little bit and be fine. <clears throat> oh great! Ten more infamy. Isn't that wonderful? Nobody so far has declared any containment wars on us, which is kind of interesting and also like weird. Uh, I thought it was supposed to be if you had um international pariah for a uh, where is it it's I I read the thing if you have international pariah for a year then it's supposed to go away oh fuck I I, I didn't mean to click the lose prestige button ooh look at that guys we're number one in uh, industry now because France is getting its ass raped that's stupid France how did you get your ass raped. Well, you are fighting against Prussia and Luxembourg and the Holy Roman and blah blah blah. But like, come on, you have 101 military power and you didn't use it all. I mean, I guess if I had to choose, I I wouldn't. I'm not. Ex I didn't expect the UK to be getting raped so bad, honestly. But uh, you guys do your thing over there. We're massive and don't care. So yeah, I'm gonna one day try to unite our lands over there. Meaning a war against the Slavic Kingdom, but that'll be coming at a later date. Let's go ahead and take care of this first with the. Uh, I think it's more important to unite with uh, with Africa because that's going to be maybe a little bit more far fetched as a goal. And once all of our lands are touching, you know, like won't that be great? Just touching all together, yay! Uh, let's go ahead and get more research points. And we have an extra focus, so what we're going to do is what we always do, and or what I wanted to do really was just encourage, oh wait, did I click encourage officers? I didn't encourage soldiers. Yeah, fuck officers. Yeah, we want to have soldiers, dog. Let's see, how's our population comparatively? Wow, look at that, we have some really good pop. Oh man, everything is purple. Wow, that's a lot of people in Cairo. Not compared to our shit over here, though, because we have like a million people <clears throat> just in that one little area. Also, we have a lot of stuff in... in uh, uh, Alright, we'll be nice to Japan this one time. They're like, they're all talking shit because they're... Because uh, we're invading... Uh, we have They know that our navy is just like balling as hell. Apparently we're having some issues getting some clippers or something, I don't know. Uh, do, do, do. Um, are we going to get our war justification done anytime with them? It's going to take a while, but you know what? It'll be worth it. Oh, god damn it. Wait, what? The Ecuadorian ultimatum? Really? Ecuador? Never. We don't need more allies. Uh, okay, Ecuador. Where are you, Ecuador? I know you're over here somewhere. You think you're all s tough shit? You think you're tough shit, Ecuador? You're like, you got like six provinces, dog. Alright. Let me get my transport fleet over there. Alright, we're gonna take a, uh, a brigade. I wanna pick a brigade of good units, though. So we're gonna take these guys. Because I doubt we'll need all of them against the Arabians. Uh, so we're going to take all these guys over there. And we're going to go stomp on your face. Oh, hey! As, uh, it's Ecuador, but or is Japan the war leader now? Ah! Okay, so Japan is who we need to piss or need to get killed. 
So, Japan, I think you've met our navy before. I'm just going to go ahead and select all of our navy, because obviously we're not going to need it over here on the Free Arabian side. And we're going to go send you some a little, a little welcoming package. How about that? Um, hopefully they won't be able to ferry any troops across. That'd be great. Um, and we're just going to 100% uh, blockade them, and they're just going to die because they are going to get a shitload of war exhaustion from that. You done fucked it up, uh, Japan, by taking over this war. Now I don't even have to do anything. I was going to have to sail all the way the fuck to the New World with a uh, transport fleet. Where, where is that transport fleet, by the way? I did not tell them to go to the New World, did I? Oh, shit. Where'd they go? Well, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, they're going to go around that way. Okay, well, um, don't do that. Let's just drop these guys off here, because we're going to need them against the Arabians. Are we bordering anybody important? Not really. Uh, and, I mean, UK is busy fighting France anyway, so let's get these guys together over here and just, you know, kind of hide. Alright, good. We dropped off these guys. Okay, let's get these guys into a position where they will be helpful against the Arabs. The Arabs, who I may remind you, will not be any help because I believe they... they I don't think they'll declare on us just because they're going to be... They're still in that stupid war with Morocco. Oh well, we'll declare on them. We'll make it easy for them. Interventionalism. And we have $16 million in the bank, so, you know, it's fine. Oh, we have a hostile occupation? No! Not that! I need... Just kidding, it doesn't matter, because we're going to fucking just put our foot down on top of uh, Japan's neck. Long live India! Long live India! Long live India. Long live India. Let's get our navy over there. Uh, I do like moralism. Wow, are you shitting me? We better not lose this. Alright, well, look at that. Their ships are gone, so... I don't know why it said we were even gonna... Like, why it even thought about telling me we were gonna lose. Bye-bye, Japan's navy. I'll see you, I'll see you later. <laughs> we give you the big... The big uh, boot in the butt. Is this Japan down here? No, that's Ryuku. But I think they're at war with us. No, they're not. Moralism, please. Let's get over here and blockade them. Get some consciousness. Why not? Let's see. Uh, ooh. Well, nobody ever wants to do any of this shit, though. I don't want to do healthcare because I don't want to pay uh, any other things right now. I guess we'll do that. Oh, wow. Wow, secret, secret police, that's pretty good. I wonder why we're losing so much money now. That's fine, though. I mean, we can lose money. It's no big deal. We have 16 million in the bank, so if that's what it takes during these, uh, for us to beat the Arab Arabs later on, that's what we'll do. No laissez-faire. Where's all the, uh... Where's all the troops over here for your Arabian Sultanate? I thought you had more troops than that. I wonder where they went. Did you guys finally get, like, uh, military access through, um... To get over... Oh, they did, they did take over the Morocco. Unfortunately. Oh, we have oil now. That's interesting. Sorry, I'm kind of just clicking those things. I didn't read that last one. Uh, we're still liberal, which is boggling my mind. Because we're way... Oh, well, we're 1% more. Th okay, that makes sense. Alright. I hope it wasn't that last click that did us in. I mean, I doubt it, but it's possible, right? Uh, these ships, are they doing it? Where are we going? Okay. So let's take a look at Japan. I want to see their war. 
We're exhaustion zero. Oh, they would accept. Wow, that looked out, that worked out so great. Oh, and oh, that's why we're, they're fighting Najd and uh, and Japan in this other war too. That's funny. All right. How much longer till our justification? Only 150 days. Nice. We can create a state in New South Wales. That's sweet. Nice. We got our little Avadi population. Nice. 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 What's the? I wonder if we get, are these pop. Ooh, wow! Look at that. That's, that's some good population down here. Uh. No, we refuse because we're going to try to fight our own wars. Japan. Sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, why did we get all that war exhaustion, though? Like, we didn't have any. Okay, bruh. Bruh, I'm not happy with this war exhaustion, bruh. Alright, Mexico. Well, at least we just lost the, the war exhaustion that we got for no reason. And, uh, we can do maybe another Navy thing? I don't know. Let's do main armament. I'm pretty sure that's important. Kaken wants us to give the military access. Sure. Brunei. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our navies. Well, I guess we didn't take all of our navies over there, but... Whatever. Uh, I'm going to grab our navies from around Japan. We don't need them just, you know, floating around over here anymore. Let's send them back over to blockade Arabia. These Arabian bastards. I can say that because I'm playing Arabia in another Let's Play. It's like, uh... I don't know. Let's send some to our neighbors, because that's going to give us more prestige than just, you know, keeping it all for ourselves. We're not greedy. We're, we're generous. We're going to share. Why does Ecuador want military access from us? I don't understand. Yay, more cores, more cores. Uh, Bukhara. Bukhara, why do you want military access? Oh, because they're all fighting the free rabes. So is uh, China, apparently? Uh, let's go ahead and declare war on these guys when our thing comes. Only two months! Yay! I've been really looking forward to this war because we need to demobilize our troops. We've got them been mobilized for forever. Uh, but that 562 brigades down here is just like so cool looking. We're just gonna be steamrolling over here in, in uh, Arabia. Arabian Knights are going to be filled with the screams of Indian soldiers and uh, terrified Arabian women. Sounds great, right? I mean, you know, come on, right? What could be better than that? All right, for Arabian Sultanate, we're going to go declare war on you to acquire uh, Sinai, I believe. Uh, Sinai. This covers the Dimats and Suez. Sweet. Alright, so we declared war on them. Uh, Mexico. I don't know why the hell they're at war with us. Alright, so we're gonna be tactical about this. Send, just send them all. <laughs> you know how I said we're gonna be tactical? Uh, alright, so we're gonna send these guys in here. We're just gonna go balls deep. Well, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's start sending these guys in. And then uh, we'll kind of pay attention to where backup is needed, and where backup is needed we'll be able to send it because we have plenty of it. We don't need to send too many troops over here. And the Arabians are already getting trounced in the sea battles here, so let's uh, keep it that way. Alright, I think that's good for now, and then we'll see where we are at 
and what needs reinforcing and what's gonna be an easy victory. Hopefully the whole war. That's what I want to see being an easy victory. Okay. These guys need to move in. We're just gonna go deep in them like I said because they look like they're putting up pretty much no resistance at all. So I was worried about them because they're really strong so they could have actually done a lot to defeat us here but they just I guess refuse to or we do have a lot of their troops trapped so that's kind of working in our favor. Let's send another 50 ships over there. Alright so we are just rolling in down here. They're starting to move in back up but I believe it is already too late. They are down by like 40 brigades already which is ridiculous. It's actually, that's like a lot of brigades to be down right away. Uh, ooh, I want to see this battle here. Let's see, what's the makeup of their forces? Because I'm kind of curious. 100% infantry, really? And we're not doing so hot against them, though. I mean, we got backup coming, but still. Why is France hot? It's hostile towards us. I think they have a, there's an uh, Arabian army underneath them that was flagging, flagging through them, I guess. Okay, We've got a few stragglers back here. We're gonna send these guys up in to fight. Denounce the fatty cats. Oh, good. We're cutting down any of the new troops that they're doing. Uh, total war will be removed. Oh no! Monthly war exhaustion minus two. Population growth. Is that good or bad? Oh no, the constant state of war is taking its toll. Oh, okay, that's probably bad. I mean, I guess the, uh, like they seem like that seems like a resilient thing though. All right, let's go send these guys up. They can always spread out later. What the hell are these Arabs? I think they're so smart running back in behind me. I'll show you, Arabs. We're gonna go and attack them there. Wow, look at that. We were winning a, a battle that's like not even on our side. That's awesome. Oh, look at that. They're already giving up. Let's see if we can't add a war goal then against them. Alright, so we can, I think. Uh, we want to take this one here. Arabian Arita. It's another 21 war score, unfortunately. Uh, but I don't think so. Sinai wasn't really that much anyways in the begin with, so we may we may or may not have room for the other two that we wanted. Wow, look at them. They're looking they're losing a ninety nine to sixty battle? That's ridiculous. I mean good on our boys, you know, but like seriously, uh you guys should be doing better, Sultanates. I assume that's because of their lack of technology. So that's kinda nice that it's working out so well for us. Well, why is there a fleet just allowed to exist here? It's, it's annoying. That's what that is. All right, we're gonna send these guys. Uh, we'll send two, three, three, is it three. Yeah, it's three, and uh, we'll kill some of those guys in the process. It looks like, and we're gonna go continue sieging things. Okay, looks like they're pouring like more and more troops into that battle over there so we're gonna have to send some more as well that is no big whoop though because we shall be able to do that pretty easily All right, let's send those guys there Ugh, God, I, this is what I kind of don't like, is when the, the, uh, 
the AI is like way smarter than me, so like they can kind of outmaneuver me a little bit. And I was hoping that our massive number advantage would be what would sort of save us, but it looks like it's still they're still kind of holding their own, which is unfortunate. I think that was this battle here. Yeah, we won it. Thank God. All right, where did they say they were going? Siwa? So we'll take the main army and follow them to Siwa. Oh, come on, guys, get there in time, please. Oh, well, we're actually reinforcing pretty quickly. That's good. Ugh, but it's disgusting that they, uh, they got so much of a, you know, drop on us down here. Especially when we had all of our troops over here. I would expect, like, maybe a little bit better performance on our end, but whatever. Let's try to get these guys home after this battle. Alright, this is like a gazillion brigades, so we're going to try to get them, give them a little bit of a break. Let's send these guys in over here. Alright, uh, Arabia, what are we doing? Proposed peace, uh, they're not going to tip the value, and we cannot add a war goal just yet, but we should be able to soon. Uh, let's go ahead and all attack here. We're going to send these guys to Barris. Because at least we'll be able to, you know, not take too much attrition. And we are reinforcing these armies really nicely. That's great. They're getting organized again. Fantastic. Alright, so I think we're doing actually a pretty good swell job over here. Uh, let's get these guys over here and we'll crush that army. No need for that many on the, on one point anymore because I'm pretty sure all their large armies are gone. How many brigades do they have total still? A 9092. Okay, so they're probably high. I, I think we have a pretty... Or at least had a pretty. Oh no, they took Naj. That's why they got able. They're able to put so many troops on our border. Sucky, sucky, sucky. But whatever. We have the number advantage still. Let's check out our numbers. We're still at 480. So yeah, we are going to be fine. Let's send these guys in. Uh, Korea wants military access, I guess. I'm going to split these guys in half. I'm going to take the 32 stack and we're going to go kill those guys. Let's go take out this army as well. How many are there there? Three? Okay. Start. Keep these guys moving up. I'm going to send one army to, to chase them. One army to move up. Okay. Now let's uh, do the same thing here. We're going to send two armies out. Where are these guys going? To uh, Sunji, huh? So yeah, we'll chase them with one. Keep on moving with the other. We can always we can always send them back together if they uh, if we want to, just to you know make sure that they got enough numbers to beat whatever army is laying in wait. Plus we already have an army going there anyway, so it's kind of moot. All right, so that that actually looks really good. Uh, let's keep on going here. Uh, cover the losses, lazy natives. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, how is the war exhaustion of Free Arabian? They're really at zero percent, silly. 
That's stupid. How are they? They're at zero. Well, we're at zero too, so I guess that kind of makes sense then. No, fuck you, Crime Man. Oh, look at that. They want to give us our two things. Well, we want more now. We also want Dongla and Upper Egypt. Oh god, no. We're just going to probably just take Dongla then. What's Dongla look like? Uh, just for reference. Oh, that's actually pretty big. So we're going to get that one and Dongla. Then we're going to want to get Upper and Middle. Maybe in another war. Let's see, how much does Dongla cost? So right now we're at 56 war score. Uh, apparently we need some more jingoism again. That's, that's fine, we can fix that. <sighs> Alright, uh... Okay, uh, acquire state, uh, Dongla. Let's see, that's 21. Okay, so we may, we may or may not be able to get one more in there. That would be cool though. Also, we're gonna, once we, you know, get ourselves, once we have pretty much 100% occupation over here, we're gonna kind of put our boot down on the, uh, the throat of the Arabians over here, just, just to make sure that they're down for the count. And that whatever little rebels they have, they're never going to be able to handle, and that they are just going to cause a nuisance for them for eternity. That is the goal here. Uh, okay, I don't see any more troops. So we got them all up here, I think. Okay, doo -doo -doo, long live India, got another core, nice. Let's send those guys back over to Qatar. Well, that's not Qatar, that's Qusar. Sorry, I know, I'm terrible at pronouncing shit. Uh, send some to our neighbors. Let's go up here. We're going to try to cut in half the Arabians. Are they? Oh, look at that. They're at war with a lot of people now. Still Japan. That's good. Oh, and I think, um, no, I was thinking maybe since we gave them military access, they could actually walk, but they can't walk to there, unfortunately. Their beliefs must be respected. I did see that 30, 30 stack up there, so we're going to try to move a few extra forces over there to deal with that. And we're going to go just try to walk through these guys' territory just to, you know, at least make them move. Uh, and we're going to go and pick another thing. Can we get another... Uh, let's, let's, let's ignore that just for a bit. I would like to get more um, education efficiency, because if we could get our, our, uh, our learning better, then we might be able to just, you know... Get some more shit. All right, good. They're gonna give us everything now. Uh, let's see if we can't sneak Upper Egypt into there. Ooh, seventeen. I think that's gonna be perfect for us. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. Well, we're still gonna get the main goal, which is the the Suez Canal region. So that's nice. But we're gonna have to fight a little harder to get everything else. All right, let's make sure that these guys are still working hard and sieging things. Oh, uh, we should probably take the war goal. That'll be our awesome guys over there to do that. I don't know if we're going to be able to walk from Upper Egypt to there. That that would be a good question. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna focus on uh, sieging that area so we can start get some extra war score going in our favor. Okay, uh, we got their capital, which is perfect. Ooh, wow, we're gonna get a lot of their land. That's gonna we're gonna be like encircling their capital basically. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, we're just gonna squish those two really fast. Then we're gonna go and actually go over there, and then there, and then there. Well, no, no. how about go here, 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 and then there. And then we're going to unsiege that. Or resiege, rather. Ugh. Lazy natives. Okay. And we're going to send this guy over here to siege that. Alright. Where's all their brigades? Did they lose all their brigades? Nice. They're down 100. Okay. That works for me. That definitely works. 
Okay, we're gonna want to make sure that we're just you know keeping it on, keeping on over here. Maybe we'll liberate Israel. There is no Israel though. There's a Jordan, but no Israel. I guess that sort of makes sense. Because there's no World War II yet, so why would there be an Israel? You'd think, though, that since this game, like, maybe those cores would get added or there'd be an event or something, but nope. I don't think so. It might surprise me, though. Which would be surprising. We're going to get the uh, education, just try to try to max that out, because I really would like to see our literacy go up a lot more. Uh, long live India. Let's see. Are we... Okay, so proposed peace. 95. I don't think we're going to get a better deal than that. I can almost guarantee you, actually, that we're not going to get a better deal than that. That's why I already did the deal. Alrighty, then. Look at that, guys. Now, look at this. We can do this. Suez Canal. Valley of the Kings. Ooh, yes. And we're going to build the Suez Canal. Hooray! Suez! Alright, let's get all those troops there. Uh, we're going to get ourselves situated over here. Where's a good supply limit? Nowhere over here is a good supply limit. Right, let's uh, let's try our best then, and uh, we're gonna get all of our ships up here just to go pick us up. Can we can we walk? Can we walk? No, damn it! So we do need Middle Egypt to be able to walk. That's okay though. Let's get ten percent more jingoist. Okay, so we're going to drop those guys off just right here. And then we're going to do the same thing, one more trip. I'm also going to grab, now after this we're going to grab all of our troops and we're going to merge them and uh, split them off into little armies. Uh, we can actually demobilize as well. So let's grab all of our troops here, and we're going to put them together in Ethio or, yeah, Ethiopia, because that's where there's a good support a force limit. All right. How many brigades do we have now? 205? That's pretty good. We had more. We can build more now. Uh, I'm going to decide once we have all our troops together to see exactly what we need better. And so, how's the war with Mexico going? Zero percent. Wow, Mexico, you're doing so well. Just look at you. You're so cute. What are you talking about, guys? We just, like, fucking raped uh, Arabia so hard. And we have a Suez Canal now. I, did, I forgot that that was instantaneous. I believe in the uh, pop demand mod, they make it so it's not instantaneous. But that's cool. That it is, because now we can actually move through this area. Let's get our navies all together. We can have them a little bit more organized as well. Have we gotten any battleships, I wonder? No battleships yet? Still working on getting the steamer convoys together? Well, hopefully we'll be socialists soon and be able to control our own factories. We're going to get the uh, militancy as opposed to consciousness. Uh, people want shit to be done. I guess I'll give them the 12-hour workday. We're now more socialist, so maybe if we have a, if we have an election soon, it's possible that we could, uh, you know, influence a different thing. Along with India. Okay, uh, France and Spain white peace. Okay, excellent. Uh, we're going to take these guys here. I'm going to get all of our uh, transports out of there. And we're going to send a small contingent of them to uh, to go and invade the, uh, the, the, the Mexicans. So we have two now. We're going to send one to this side of Mexico, which we have plenty of range. Then we're going to send the other one to that side of Mexico. 
How many ships do they have? Probably not 180. Okay, good. So that should be fine. And then we'll blockade the shit out of them, and then they'll want peace. If they don't want peace before our navy even gets there. Hopefully we don't lose any ships on the way. That would suck. Wow, Portugal took that from France? That's funny. Stupid. Portugal's like, we miss having colonies. We don't have any anymore because me and India took them all away from us. <laughs> Um, okay guys yeah i think that's gonna about do it for this episode i love this arabian asia free arabian oh that we divided them that's so cute now they have two names ha 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 that's what you get for fucking with india or well you know getting in the way of our intercontinental link anyways guys thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next one spray and pray out